I would like to just get a brief update on the maintenance facility. Yeah, hopefully I'll have something different for you right now. It's in the design review stage still. Uh, application was submitted. They wanted more information. Um, contrary to some uh, comments from other members of the public that it was kicked back to be non-compliant, that it's 100% not accurate, they just said, we need more. So uh, we're going through uh, putting together exactly what we want to submit as the more, and then we want them to say, yes, if you submit these things, this will make it complete. We've met with Brian Crawford, met with, uh, with Jeremy, uh, uh, met with uh, Tom Lai, uh, included Damon, included the chief uh, civil engineer. So we're just trying to go through and make sure that I don't also have to start signing civil engineer contracts yet for a project that they haven't even approved yet. There is no way we can complete it. No, 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 no. This is simply the design review, then it's gonna to have to go through construction permitting. We always knew once it got pushed that we lost this year, that it would be next year, because a lot of the timing on when things are gonna be done are also dictated by environmental factors. Uh, when we can demolish the old shed, when we can, you know, all of this is you know, kind of laid out very clearly in the environmental assessment report that we had done. Uh, and those were What's that? Was it, was it October being Yeah, the fall. Um, so, you know, the fact that we're still in design review and then once we get done with that, then we actually have to get into actual construction uh, building permitting. Um, that's going to take some time. And until we've got all of that achieved, it doesn't make a lot of sense to push this to really then put together the RFP for it. Uh, and then once we know from building permitting, we'll have a much, and civil engineering and really engaging civil engineering, then we'll be able to put together much more accurate cost estimate. I mean, right, you know, right now we have the concept, and we get you know we have some roundabout numbers that based on concept, but they're just that. I wouldn't commit any of them until we really get into the civil engineering of the you know the building designs, the construction designs, uh, not just architectural designs, but structural uh, everything else. And then we'll know exactly what the requirements. Are. I just, I just hope that this dilapidated excuse yeah. for thing stands hope. another winter. Hope is an understatement. Me too. Me too. Yeah, hope you is You said the demo has to happen in October? Uh, in the fall. I don't know if it's October or fall. Uh, because of nesting birds and this, that, and the other thing. But do you have known um, special status species around that area? I mean, uh, see, it's, we, we have that happen all the time. We do nesting surveys. and. Right to determine what's nesting there and where. And right, nothing is impacted. In the uh, there was levels of evidence of certain things nesting within the structure itself. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. The structure is not impenetrable. But couldn't you seemingly could do one-way um, entrances to get those nesting animals out, and then that would open up your window construction window. yeah yeah um, I would have to relook at what the environmental report said because it was pretty clear on what should happen during this time yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah you can you can install a one-way like gate or doors basically and they can fly out but they can't fly in right so you could get them out yeah unfortunately the evidence of the nesting is still there and we'd have to bring that back out and do everything and there, those are options yeah you know, those are options, but there's other factors at play uh, as to uh, timing of things too. Uh, that were all kind of, like I said, laid out in that bio report. I have to really look at it, but that's where that's at. So there, there, there hasn't been any status update because we've been in this process for a little while. They gave it back to us um, with a lot of requests and say, "Great, you have 30 days." At which point we said, "Yeah, we're going to need 61 um, as we kind of go through this." Uh, and they said, so, yeah, that's fine, whatever, whatever, because it, the 30 days involved us then responding and saying, yeah, we need to meet with the brass. What was that? Uh, when they gave us back their list of 18 additional items that they wanted to see was when we kind of said, oh, yeah. we need a meeting. Yeah. You know, so that meeting took three weeks to set up. And then once we went through that meeting and said, okay, we're going to go through every item on this list one by one. Do you really need this? 
then okay, maybe we don't need that. You know, I got the proper people in the room to say yay or, or nay, or here's what we mean, or here's what we clarify, and right now we're going through and putting together another part document that's going to say, here's what we intend to create and submit. Before we create and submit this, we want you to tell us, yep, if you create and submit that as described, that's what we're looking for. That's not saying they're still going to approve it. This, and then it goes to the Planning Commission, most likely, and then it goes on. So it's, it's a hell of a process to put it mildly for an accessory. Is um, Bill Hansel's presentation still online? It's still on our website. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. Is it easy to find? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just uh, highlight uh, park department, and then you'll see park maintenance facility replacement initiative, and all of his slides and designs and everything out there. The, and he did like an hour long presentation. That's still on there. Well, uh, all of the slides that he used are still on there. The okay. presentation was an hour long because we did a oh, ton of Q and A with right. him. Right, right. That's not on there. Uh, the Q and A, like the yeah. meeting itself. Yeah. I don't think we recorded. No, we weren't recording it at that point. What? Yeah, YouTube, uh, Marinwood well, CSD maintenance facility, it, and you'll see what you can find. I found it on our website, so uh, maybe that was something else I was looking at. Okay, because he did a help for the so he did Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty As I say, nice. one of the Damon Connolly's aides had to talk to me about, she was asking me questions about the size, mm -hmm. you know, the, the driving side entrance versus the mm -hmm. more standard entrance. I just wanted to kind of revisit that information. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we uh, talked about all of that with them as well. And then wondered why the county supervisor found it necessary to get involved in a maintenance facility project. Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Out loud. Yeah, I know. I just, I want to make sure I have good answers to those questions sure. myself. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, the building itself is, the enclosed space is still 1,300 square feet. The covered parking area is still 1,200 square feet. You're still talking about a, a building envelope of 2,500 square feet, and then some fenced-in areas to basically right. bring all those things that are currently sitting outside inside. It's still smaller than the footprint we're using, right. and that's that's the key. So unfortunately, there's a lot of uh, let's just call it misinformation and propaganda floating around out there from a select few. So there's your add on to the Lewis Park update. Anything else? But uh, was there anything for an actual future agenda? I will certainly add it as soon as we actually have some movement on there. I just feel like it's such a big issue. It should be on, it seems like it should be on every agenda in case we do. Yeah, I, I don't disagree with you. I just think adding it to agenda to say we're at the same place we were last month is, uh, doesn't really get us anywhere. Well, that doesn't hurt either, does it? Huh. I mean, because then at least we're being transparent to the public that sure. we are talking about it. Sure. 